There's basically two ways that we learn anything in life. There's the top-down approach and the bottom-up approach. In Tai Chi, the bottom-up approach means that you're learning the steps and the moves, the rules and the routines, piecing together the skill and understanding until you reach a high level of mastery, or at least proficiency. But the top-down approach is like diving into the deep end of the pool and from day one just using your imagination to move in what you think a master would move like in their rhythm and their patterns without first waiting to learn the rules and the routines. So what's the best way to learn Tai Chi as a beginner? Well in this video I'm going to show you what I think is the best way and we're going to do it together and we're going to do it right now. Hi everybody, I'm David Dorian Ross and welcome to Learn Tai Chi for Beginners. If this is your first time on this channel, then welcome, but hold off on hitting that subscribe button because I want you to find out if you like my teaching style first. On this channel, we're going to talk about learning to have better health, living longer but feeling younger, and finding inner peace and tranquility. The question of what's the best way to learn Tai Chi it implies to me that you're a beginner. And for me, the best approach for beginners is the top-down approach. After 40 years of teaching, I just see that it's far too easy for beginners to get caught up in the minutia and endless details of Tai Chi. You wind up getting stressed out instead of finding calm and tranquility and letting your Tai Chi become a moving meditation. So today's video is another in our series of follow along, follow me kind of workouts. I don't even want you to try to memorize the movements or learn the techniques. I just want you to do what you see. Just Keep moving, keep breathing, and keep smiling. We'll do it together. Now, one more thing. I've actually made two versions of this workout today. One from the front, and one for the viewers who have said that they have a hard time mirroring me from the back. So, whichever is your favorite way of following from the back side or from the front side, watch that video. Or better yet, watch them both. And whichever video this is that you're watching right now, I put a link right up there to the other video. Now. Also, be sure you go all the way to the end because I have a final thought about the best approach to learning Tai Chi. And so I'll see you on the other side. Now let's go jump into the rhythm of Tai Chi together.
Okay, time for final thoughts. But first, a quick invitation. If this is your first time on this channel and you've made it all the way this far, that's so wonderful. And I hope that you enjoyed what you've seen. And so now you can hit that subscribe button and of course the bell icon, because that notifies you every time we have another lesson. Now, when it comes to the question of whether the top-down approach or the bottom-up approach is best to learn Tai Chi, the actual answer is both, of course. It's not a question of either or. It's a question of when. When in your training is it best to sort of get into the rhythm of the movements and feel what it feels like to do Tai Chi? And then when is it the right time to learn each movement step by step, detail by detail? And it has a lot to do with what your interest in Tai Chi is. For a lot of my students, they just come in and all they want is to get their bodies into that moving meditation state and feel the rhythm and the joy of just moving their bodies. Other students, feel like I want to learn more. I want to master the tradition and the classical steps of Tai Chi. For many students, the way to start out is by doing the top-down approach because it gives you a chance to fall in love with Tai Chi, to, to feel what the joy of Tai Chi really promises. Instead of making you wait and going step by step, trust me, I taught this way for 30 plus years until finally I realized that the reason why so many of my students left was because they hadn't had a chance to really find the joy of Tai Chi first. So, the actual answer is what's the best way to learn Tai Chi is when are you learning it? What stage are you in? When you figure that out, you'll know the right way. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have an awesome afternoon, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.